Next would be incident response. Now with incident response, we need to make sure that we keep our systems patched and up to date. All right, so there are constantly zero day vulnerabilities that come out, whether it be within operating systems, servers, switches, so on and so forth. We need to make sure that we keep these things, these types of systems patched as soon as possible. All right, we need to make sure that we have a response plan in place that allows us to do that. And again, I mentioned previously, if we're a small mom and pop shop or a small company with maybe a, you know, a handful of computers, maybe a dozen servers, that's fairly easy to, you know, that process is fairly easy to accomplish. However, if we're a very large organization, a global entity, and we have thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of computers, servers, et cetera, et cetera, spread across the globe, that's a much more monumental task. And we have to make sure we have very rigid and documented procedures so we can push out those patches and those updates globally in a very phased fashion, but very quickly, aggressively, so that we can address these issues as they come up. All right, so whether that be biweekly or monthly patching rollups, all right, Microsoft has, as an example, Second Tuesday of each month is, you know, Patch Tuesday. They release their patches, okay? Some organizations patch right away. Some kind of stay a month behind, and they'll do regression testing and user acceptance testing to make sure that their patches don't, you know, break uh, existing applications. But whatever that lifecycle management, that patch remediation, or that patch uh, management process that's in place, it needs to be followed and documented. All right, and then we want to make sure we also have antivirus and anti-malware systems up to date. Keeping our antivirus signatures uh, up, to, up to date is very important. As we know, it doesn't do us any good if we have something updated six months ago. In fact, a lot of times it's actually worse because we have a false sense of security, thinking that we're protected when we're not. All right, so we have to keep things up to date because there are constantly new threats evolving, truthfully, daily, or if not hourly in some cases.